Neuroscience research has identified the five factors that most affect our alertness, our ability to focus, and therefore to get work done. Those five factors are light, sound, our body arrangement or ergonomics, our attention span and or interruptions or multitasking, and the last one is physical movement. You can use this research to create an office that makes you more productive. I'm gonna use my office as an example. Let's take the first one, light. The body produces dopamine and epinephrine early in the morning to create focus and alertness. This is part of our circadian clock. So to take advantage of that, you want as much light as possible in the first half of the day. Overhead light is the best, but you want natural light, not just artificial light. So forget the fluorescent lights. You want close to natural light as you can get. If you look at my office, you'll see that I have two large windows and overhead light. I have this OT light, which produces the same wavelength as outside light. And I just purchased this other light therapy light, which I'm gonna to add to my office to create even more light. You want as much light and as high as possible to create that epinephrine and dopamine in your body. Later in the day, you wanna do more creative work. That's when you wanna lower the light levels, including the lighting of your screen, because you're gonna produce serotonin, which is more conducive to creative kinds of thinking in your brain. The second thing is sound. There are bad sounds, and that is the humming of an air condition is not conducive to mental work. When you come to music, it goes both ways. There's some research that shows with some people, music actually enhances their focus. Other people, it distracts them. I used to have music in my office, and I found it didn't help me, so I took it out. The third thing is your body arrangement or ergonomic. If you look at my desk, I have an ergonomic chair. The arm height is the same as the desk so that I'm in a neutral position in terms of my hand and my wrist. The screens are at my eye level, so I'm neither looking up nor looking down, but it's straight across, so it keeps me in pretty good posture. This helps prevent fatigue, physical and mental fatigue. The issue of attention span is an interesting one, and that is there's research that shows that managers and business owners have as little as three minutes of focused time at a time. That's not nearly enough to get anything done for a lot of reasons. One is neuroscience shows that it takes about five to six minutes for your brain to sort of warm up to a task. It's like warming up in sports. So you need at least those five or six minutes to sort of arrange yourself. I'm going to be working on this now. And then the maximum time you can really keep a good amount of attention is about 30 to 45 minutes. So if you arrange your calendar in 45 minute increments and not have interruption, then you'll have that warm up time and then uh, the maximum amount of time that you can focus. How do you prevent interruptions? There's a million ways. One is tell people. So I have an office at home, so I tell my family, I can't be interrupted. You can turn off your online interruption. You can block your calendar and show yourself as busy. Whatever you need to do so that you're not interrupted by other people or devices. The last thing is physical movement. After about 30 to 45 minutes, your body needs to move. Sitting too much is so bad in so many ways, but particularly in terms of focus and work. So I'm very lucky. I can just step outside and go out and look at my wife's garden right here. I also have a workout room next door to this office. I hope this demonstration of my office and how I've tried to use the neuroscience to make my work life better will help you.